One of the difficulties that we have in the Lutheran Church in the Philippines for the last three decades now is the leadership crisis that we have. There are two groups in the Lutheran Church in the Philippines. My hope for the future of LCP. My hope for the future of LCP. My hope for the future of LCP. My hope for the future. My hope for the future of LCP is uh, someday our brothers who separated from us will be back. We can be as one again. In spite of the challenges that we are facing today, LCP will be united as one. My hope for the LCP is to have unity again and have reconciliation with the other groups. I hope for the future of the LCP that the problem which uh, the church is facing now will be resolved immediately. My hope in LCP is to make us one through the help of God and through the efforts of our church leaders. My hope for the future of LCP is for God himself to restore this unity in the church and move forward. My hope for the future for LCP is this problem in LCP will be resolved the soonest that can bring LCP back to its normal operations. I still believe that the hope of LCP lies in the Lord, the hands of the Lord who is the source of hope. So despite of what is happening right now, what I want is that LCP back to normal. My hope for the future of LCP is a church uh, united under the Lordship of Jesus Christ, strong enough doing the mission through the faithful uh, pastors, evangelists, and ministers. Uh, I want to see LCP uh, to be a growing church. I want to see LCP with all its pastors and members working, going out to preach the gospel of salvation to all people in Christ Jesus. My hope for the future in LCP is that can support its own ministry and mission. My hope for the future of LCP is depending on the faithfulness of the church to the God's word and to stand firm in any situations. I want to see LCP that is uh, continuing educating pastors, laymans, involving all members to meet the commission that God has given to the church. I hope that many young men will enroll at the seminary. If all the members and its officers will commit themselves to its mission. Even though there are difficulties and trials, I believe LCP will triumph. Hopefully five years from now, we will have a Lutheran church that is living, that is vibrant, that we dream and we commit ourselves to the establishment of 100 new congregations by the year 2017. Not only that, but I dream and I hope that LCP will have more workers, more members who are committed to the ministry of the proclamation of the word. A church, an LCP, that is also self-supporting, an LCP that is also self-governing. This is my hope and my prayer for the Lutheran Church in the Philippines.